Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about the attribute agreement analysis using Minitab. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. What is attribute agreement analysis? Use attribute agreement analyses to evaluate the agreement of subjective nominal ratings or subjective ordinal ratings, by multiple appraisers and to determine how likely your measurement system is to misclassify a part. When should I use attribute agreement analysis? Use attribute agreement analysis to assess the consistency or accuracy of attribute responses when two or more appraisers or instruments rate the same item. Do different appraisers rate the same items consistently? Secondly, the same appraiser or instrument rates the same items more than once. For an appraiser's response is consistent, you can assess the consistency of responses within each appraiser. Finally, attribute agreement analysis is useful for the inspector. Certification and recertification process. A quality control or manufacturing inspector examines materials and products for specification deviations or defects and monitors the production. The work of inspectors is to monitor quality levels for all products. Example of attribute agreement analysis. An insurance company evaluating accident insurance claims. The manager suspects that different adjusters may come to different decisions when they review similar claims. She, therefore, shows a set of 20 claims to each of six adjusters to evaluate them. Another example is in the final visual inspection, an appraiser checks each motherboard for damaged components. A damaged component part is considered defective and must be scrapped. The QA department wants to verify that its new appraiser rates the parts effectively. The appraiser records parts as either accept or reject. Attribute data are subjective ratings by appraisers. The data can be binary, nominal, or ordinal. A binary variable is a categorical variable having two categories such as pass or fail. Nominal variable is variable with no ordering exist. Such as dry, sweet and fruity. Ordinal variable is variables with natural ordering. For example, you can rank the quality of service as 1, for poor. 2, for below average. 3, for average point 4, for very good and 5, for excellent. The data collected by this survey are examples of ordinal data. Let's take an example. A manufacturer uses visual inspection to screen out the final product before shipping to customers. A damaged component part is considered defective and must be scrapped. Four appraisers inspect 50 parts in random order. The appraiser records parts as either accept or reject. After the parts are reordered, each appraiser inspects them again. Method of performing attribute agreement analysis. 1. You need at least 50 samples to obtain adequate estimates of agreement. 2. Each appraiser should rate each sample at least twice in random order. 3. You should have at least three appraisers for an adequate study. Select appraisers who are representative of all the appraisers who use the measurement system. Each appraiser must evaluate each sample the same number of times. Next, I am going to show you the steps of performing attribute agreement analysis using Minitab software. Select Stat, Quality Tools, Create Attribute Agreement Analysis. In number of samples, enter 50. In number of appraisers, enter 3. Under appraiser name, type a name into each cell, Peter, Eric and May. In number of replicates, enter 2. Click OK. Select stat, quality tools, attribute agreement analysis. Complete the following steps to specify the data for your graph. In data are arranged as, select attribute column and enter result. In samples, enter sample. In appraisers, enter appraiser. In known standard, attribute, enter standard. Click OK. If you have multiple trials, Minitab displays the within appraiser's graph. The within appraiser's graph shows the consistency of each appraiser's ratings. Blue circle is the actual percentage matched. Red line is the 95%. Confidence interval for percentage matched. The graph shows that Peter, Eric and May rated above 90%. 
If you specify a reference value for each part, Minitab displays the appraiser versus standard graph. This graph shows each appraiser's results compared with the standard. Peter, Eric and May rated below 80%. Within appraiser assess the consistency of responses within each appraiser when inspects the same part two or more times. All of the appraisers have above 90% accuracy. The overall kappa for Peter, Eric and May is above 0.80, which indicates acceptable agreement. What is kappa? Kappa measures the degree of agreement of the nominal or ordinal assessments made by multiple appraisers when assessing the same samples. Kappa values range from minus 1 to plus 1. The higher the value of kappa, the stronger the agreement. When kappa equals 1, perfect agreement exists. Kappa equals 0, agreement is the same as would be expected by chance. Kappa less than 0, agreement is weaker than expected by chance, this rarely occurs. The AIAG suggests that a kappa value of at least 0.75 indicates good agreement. However, larger kappa values, such as 0.90, are preferred. Each appraiser versus standard assess the accuracy of appraisers rating according to the standard. The overall kappa value for each appraiser is below 0.75, which indicates unacceptable agreement. Between appraiser assesses the consistency of responses between appraisers. It does not assess how their responses compared to the standard. The overall kappa value, 0.824600 indicates moderate agreement. All appraisers versus standard assess the accuracy of all appraisers rating according to the standard. The three appraisers simultaneously agreed with the standard 58% of the time. The overall kappa value, 0.542106 indicates weak agreement. In summary, randomization helps to avoid bias due to memory recall. Kappa less than 0.75 may indicate that the measurement system needs to be improved. Larger kappa values, such as 0.90, are preferred. The overall kappa value of 0.542106 for all appraisers versus the standard indicates that this measurement system is reasonable. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.